Do you want to eat? Do you want a roof over your head? Or do you want a Fendi bucket bag? And so far, I've been eating. I've been eating good. Eating good. Eating, eating good. I've been eating good. Hey gems, it's a girl Miss Shamima, and we are back at it again with another video. So, um, today's video is going to be another purse haul because um, I was in my feelings and I was upset about the way y'all dragged me in my last haul. Like, y'all didn't have to do me like that. I mean, nobody said that, but that's how I read it. <laughs> Y'all done bullied me into spending um, $40 on these bags, child. It was a peer pressure. It was the internet dictating my life. It... <laughs> Let me just jump right into the haul because I'm doing a lot of rapping, okay? Um, so first things first, I'm gonna show you guys um, two bags I purchased from Oliver and, and Anis, Anis. I'm not sure how to to, I forgot the name of the company. I purchased a bag from them before and I actually went back to purchase a bag that I saw a while ago, but they don't make it anymore and I'm so upset. Like, why didn't I get it when I had the chance? Um, but yeah, so they didn't have the bag I was actually looking for, but I did pick up these other two bags. And the first one is she, look it. Isn't she cute? She is on the smaller side, but I just feel like she is so adorable. Um, so it's this beautiful burgundy color and the handle here has like, I don't know if you guys see it, not detail. Y'all forgive my nails, okay? I cannot believe I look like this. Like I never understood when people said they were too busy to get their nails done, but the past two weeks I have understood what that meant, what that felt like. And I just, I am disgusted with myself. Y'all, look at this. Oh, ew. Like, what is that? Yuck. Ooh, coffee's so good. Mm. But yeah, so we have this Zorba. Y'all, I like this, this setting. Do you guys like this scenery? I, I broke my couch. So, you know, I usually do like my little like chill accessory hauls on my couch but child is broken but what do y'all think about this i feel like this is cute anyways yes yeah, so this is it's the adhd for me stay focused so we have this cute bag i didn't want to wear any of these out but i did wear one of them out because i was like i just i want to but this is so cute so i'm just i guess i'm doing like the unboxing portion stuff now as well and taking this tape stuff off of it I'm gonna try to see it in its true form. Like, this is so cute. And I feel like a color like this, like, I could get wear out of this, you know? I can get good wear out of this. Oh, this is different. The button, it's a, a push. Like, you push it and then you set it down and then, oh! It's, it's the different for me. It's the unique for me. It's the never done before for me. And did I show you guys the not detailing on here? This is so cute. Oh, I'll have all the links posted below. This is one of those Instagram companies that got me. And you know, I used to avoid them like the plague. Like all this advertising, like Instagram is basically just another mall, okay? It's literally a mall and they're pimping out all these brands and businesses to us. And honey, I'm, I'm, I'm giving them my coins, okay? I have discovered such great brands through Instagram and I hate it, but their marketing is working. Like I'm actually finding great things. Like, let me just open it. I love this. This is so cute and innovative. Um, let's go ahead and empty these out. Oh, it has a strap. Oh, is that a snake strap? Okay. It has a middle compartment right here um black interior and this is like a snake chain this is so sleek and so sexy like i'm very happy with this bag with just this handle like i really think this is adorable but this is hella sexy it doesn't have like your average chain yeah see i think this is called a snake chain this is sexy oh my goodness wow it's the detail for me it's the detail for me. 
this will remain a handbag. Um, first of all, this snake chain isn't long enough to cover this big body bins, baby, this big back. Um, but I just like how sexy it is around the arm anyways. It's kind of like jewelry, okay? It's the detachable necklace for me. Not necklace, bracelet for me. Okay, I've been talking about this long enough, but she is a cutie. Oh, yes. And I'm pretty sure it had other colors. I have to go back and look, but yes. So that is what this is looking like. Okay, let's move on, Jamima. Like, you can't spend all your time on one bag. So next we have this bag here. Now, this one's a bit different for me. I've, I haven't really been the straw bag kind of girl as you can see in in traveling it has this little dent right here but i feel like i can kind of like fill this out eventually but yeah so this is a little different for me i'm not a straw anything kind of person honestly um i might do a straw hat depending on how it looks but for the most part i'm not a straw girl but i did like the black on it and i figured you know between the black and the gold hardware i like the detailing the circle ring situation I feel like if I'm gonna do a straw, this might be it, okay? There might be enough balance of black and gold hardware to convince me. And you know what? I'm not in love with this bag, but it's cute and it'll bring me out of my comfort zone and it'll help me to try new things, okay? I feel like it's enough balance of material that I feel comfortable, I feel good rocking it. Ooh, they got a, a whole pillow in here. Wait a minute now. Oh! Oh my, I'm popping that later now. So it has a gray interior cloth and it has a couple pockets. Um, the inside looks kind of cheap. Like this, it's like what in the rayon, but you know, it's whatever I guess. The bag itself is sturdy enough. Um, but yeah, so my only thing is this indentation right here. But I mean, I don't, I don't, because even with that blown up um, plastic, I just, it's still there. But yeah, overall, I still find this to be a cute bag. I, I would probably wear this as a handbag as well, though it does come with a strap. It seems pretty small though. Oh yeah, this strap is purposeless. Yeah, this strap is not for me. <laughs> Girl, what in the baby body? I'm trying to elongate it as much as possible, but already the strap is not for me, but it's still perfectly cute as a handbag. Yeah, it's cute. Look at me with the, with the, the straw. Next thing you know, I'm gonna have uh, one of those uh, cork wedge heels. <laughs> I'm sorry if any of y'all wear cork wedge heels. I personally just hate them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate them with a the passion, Lord. Oof. I is sorry to anybody that wears them. But yeah, so this little, this, yeah, this, um, this ain't got no purpose for me. Should I put it on? Actually, I just really like it like this. I think this is fine. Like, I'm not even gonna put this on. So, super cute. I love you. I was at Marshall's or Ross? Yeah, what was I at? Where is the... Where is the tag? I was on one of them stores and then I saw these and I was like, okay, let me, let me grab one of these. Let me, let me grab these. So I like this bag because of the colors. I really like the neutral tones. Um, and bags like this, you can wear with so many different things because they are neutral. And so let's see, the market retail price of this one is $98 from Steve Madden. Pretty sure I paid like, not that. Um, but yeah, it's a good size, a nice day bag. I feel like this is super cute as well. I really like the color scheme on this one. Oh, from Ross. I got this from Ross. I paid $33.99. So, a three to us in 99 cents. Okay. Well stuffed with paper. Black interior. It has a zip compartment in the back. And it has another compartment in the front you just dip your hand into. And it's giving suede, honey, okay? And it's very sizable. You can fit lots of things in here. Oh, is, are these compartments? Oh, okay. I mean, I wouldn't put anything in here because it'd be a nightmare to take it out. As you can see, my hands don't go all the way down. But these are compartments. 
Okay, I mean, you could put some in there if you really wanted to. That's cute. Mm. That's real cute, sis. Alrighty. Oh. Okay. The girls are doing something. The girls are coming together with looks, okay? Oh, ow. Uh, where are my scissors? I'm so glad I can finally wear my bags now. I've been collecting these for like a couple weeks, y'all, and I'm finally not having the time to really film these, so I'm glad because I'm ready to wear these out in the streets because the streets are calling my name. I'm going to the streets this time. I'm going to the streets. <laughs> yeah, super cute. Love it. Oh, okay, Steve, I'll see you. Next, we have this bag here, and I have something similar to it, but in brown that I wear all of the time. So when I saw this gray one, I was like, let me go ahead and grab this, and it's a light gray. I was like, I don't have this color. I don't got this color, but it's still neutral. It'll still get wear, it'll still get looks. And I was like, okay, let me go ahead and grab it. But you know what I realized? I am a fan of structured bags. Like, I like structure in general. Like, I like corners, I like squares, I like sharp edges, and I like structured bags. Like, I was realizing, like, I have a pattern here. Interesting. Um, but yeah, so, um, there's a tag for this in here as well. Where are my scissors? Somebody's always coming here robbing my stuff. It's you, Jamima. You rob your own stuff and then you lose it. You don't put it back where it's supposed to be and then you get upset. And? Not me having a conversation with myself, child. Y'all, I'm just so excited to finally wear my bags, y'all. Because I've been in my bag. <laughs> y'all get it? In your bag. Purchasing bags because I'm in my bag. It's the bars for me. Um, okay, so we have a same colored strap, which I like. And she seems long. Okay, finally. Y'all need to stop playing me with these little baby straps. This is an adult bag. Okay, this is for grown-ups. They say you, you won't get this adult strap, period. Get the strap the strap oh yes this is just like my brown one i love that <laughs> i love it a lot <laughs> look at look at the bag look at the bag that i bought all right and i paid 22.99 for this yep zip zip compartment in the back printed material on the inside it's giving silky polyester another compartment in the inside zip compartment on the back okay i like these because i like to throw my phone in here so that's readily accessible but i like it i love it i want some more of it okay so i'm gonna show you all the next couple of bags look at this bag right here look at this art this work of art as a purse i like I said, this is not normally something I would gravitate towards, but for one, it's structured. <laughs> I really have a problem. I was sitting here the other day and I was just like, all my bags definitely have something in common, but it's structured and I'm not usually one for the bejewelment unless it's real crystals or real diamonds. Um, but these rhinestones are doing something to my soul, baby. Now, before y'all ask, um, Y'all dragged my Shein haul. I bought this bag from Shein, baby. So what's up with it? What's up with it? Talk to me nice. What's up with it? <laughs> oh my God. So cute. And it's basically like this hard um, construction of a cage situation. And it has this velvet. What is it? Velvet? This velvet. Um, bucket situation it's a soft thing inside it's not super soft but you know whatever so so soft so cute and I love the closing style because once you close it there's a magnetic piece right here and it literally just 
holds on like that. So I, I hold the magnet last long, child, because once that magnet detaches, this bag's gonna be completely useless. But it is so cute. Like, how do you not love this bag? Oh my God, I love it so much. Once again, y'all know she ain't always comes through. It never fills with the baby straps. So far, most of these have been handbags, <laughs> but I love that. I feel like this is so cute for a night out. This is doing, this is, don't you dare diminish this bag with your cheap chained self in a short. What is this even attached to? I guess right here as well. I mean, I guess you could for the same, I don't know. Personally, I like draping the handles on my hand. So, I mean, what do you guys think? I don't know, but overall this bag is super cute. And you know, I was like, let me spend a little extra on this. And it gave what it was supposed to give. Okay, it was worth my money. <laughs> okay, so the next bag I purchased was a camera bag from that damn Coach Outlet Instagram ad that keeps coming up. Oh, so I ended up picking up this bag. <laughs> and I wanted something super casual. I can just pick up and go for everyday wear. And now that I have it, I'm not feeling it as much as I thought I would, but it's fine. Um, Cause I'm just like, when you see that razzle dazzle of a bag from Shein, it's like, how can this ever measure up? Did y'all see that bling bling I just showed y'all? Like, I feel like that should be my everyday bag, period. But yeah, so this is a cute bag. It has their embellishment in front, but it's not super obvious, not that obvious. So I'm cool with it. It's a cute everyday bag. Keep it casual. Keep it cute. And that's exactly what I wanted it for. So it'll do just that. Y'all, when I say I'm excited, I can finally wear my bags now. Um, you threw that away. Okay. But yeah, that coach outlet site. When I say I've been on there like crazy, there's a Becca bag on there that I've been eyeballing. I'm just like, this is, it's cute. But what I really want is that Fendi bucket bag. I'm just like, but you ain't got Fendi money, sis. Like, do you want to eat? Do you want a roof over your head? Or do you want a Fendi bucket bag? And so far, I've been eating, I've been eating good, eating good, eating, eating good. I've been living good, living good. <laughs> Last but not least, um, I have this bag from Nordstrom, and this bag is from Kurt Geiger. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this bag, um, and it's pretty structured, but also has that quilting finish that I feel like is super popular right now. I've never really been into it, but the reason I decided to go for this bag is because I liked the tone of the gold on this bag. As you can see, it's more of a bronzy gold, a darker gold. And also I am in love with this embellishment here, this piece here. I don't know if you guys can see the bird. Maybe it's because I'm a bird. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like that's so like edgy and sexy. Like I love that feature on, on his pieces. And I was like, all together, I was like, wait a minute, I, I actually like this. And not because I see it everywhere, but I actually like this. Like, I feel like the contrast between the quilting and also the, the color of the gold and the size of the bag, I enjoy that as well. Like, I just, I genuinely enjoy this bag. And I'm shook because I never thought it would be me. Like, a lot of bags, I feel like I'm an eyeballing, but it's because I see it often in their luxury and I feel like that's the appeal but the actual bags themselves, I'm like, am I really in love with them? And I'm just like, I'm not. But I, I, you know, it's it's this for me. It's it's the bird for me. Something about it just really just, I don't know. I, I think I like you, Kurt. I think I like you. So super soft. The only thing is I wish it had feet. Like, why don't you have feet on here? Where are the bird legs? Where are the talons? Cause I'm like, I just feel like this is a soft material. This is gonna get messed up. Like, and this is not cheap, okay? It may not be the most expensive bag on the market, but it's not cheap. It's not a $20 bag. It's not a $200 bag. I feel like I paid like $2.95. No, not paid $2.95 for this bag. I don't know, but either way, it was, it's way too much money to not, you could have glued, hot glue guns and studs on here, Kurt. What's up with that? 
You have all this money to put a bird on the on the on the top, but you can put the, the bird feet on the bottom. Like you think this bag gonna stay on my arm while I'm eating? Now I'm just like I I don't feel like I don't feel safe putting this bag down, and I don't like that. It should always have feet at the bottom. Like bro, what is up with that? But overall though, I I'm I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I am definitely a fan. Yes, honey. Look at her, honey. Oh, she is giving what she needs to give. I love this color of gold with this bag. I just, this, the bag is just bagging. Okay? The bag is just bagging. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys are satisfied with the bags that I purchased. I hope you guys like them. Or if you didn't like them, be nice in the comments, y'all. If you, if you didn't like it, that's okay. But say it nicely. Or don't say that at all. Forget that. Tell me I'm beautiful. Period. <laughs> you know, someone came for me once and they're like, oh, you only want to hear when people give you compliments. You don't want to hear like when, when people don't like what you're wearing. Duh. <laughs> I'm human. You think I would enjoy hundreds of people telling me I look ugly? Are you stupid? Of course. Tell me I look good. If you, if you don't think I look good, then don't comment at all. Period. I ain't got no shame in that. I'm human. <laughs> It's like you going up the street, you walking up to somebody. Oh, your outfit's ugly. Okay. Is that socially acceptable? No. But it's okay for you to go up to somebody and be like, oh, your outfit is popping. Oh, thank you. Are you doing that in person? Then don't do it online. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stop being so sensitive one day. Um, No, but I'm kidding about... I mean, y'all really did drag me, but... I was kidding about that, but no, I'm not kidding. Like, don't be mean to me in the comments. Thanks. <laughs> what, y'all? I don't know why I'm rambling so much as a video. It's the ADHD for me. Where are my rock? Where is my pho? Y'all, I am so hungry, and I can feel the pills starting to wear off from my cramps. So I'm I'm about to take some more. Grab my heating pad. Wait for my food to come and relax until I get back to work. Ooh, chale. Mm, it's being a woman for me. <laughs> it's, Cause it's ghetto, it's giving ghetto. And my uterus is is trying to stop me from being great, but I'm finna eat good. At least I hope I am. If this food is not good, I'm be upset. This has nothing to do with the today's video. I'm sorry y'all, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I appreciate your support. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, gang, gang, 100, gang. And I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs> Jamima, put the crack zone, baby girl. Put that zone. You got a bouquet? I got a thing of fun. Bye, guy, when you. She does. My mushy.